What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to bring you a episode of Surviving the Deep. So for those of you who don't know what this game is about, you are a plane crash survivor who has crashed in the open ocean uh, surrounded by various islands. As you can see in the distance, you can see some various islands. Uh, one there, uh, there's one there. Uh, so on and so forth. I mean, there's islands all over the place, and going back to the things that want to eat you, case in point, there are sharks, there are stingrays, there are blowfish, there are all kinds of things out here that want to eat you. Snakes. Uh, so what your goal is, is to basically survive. Um, and by doing so, you have to basically scrounge up all of these items build various other items, such as a still, uh, to drink water, collect food, uh, collect other items to make other items. Uh, the only thing you really start with is this life raft, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm scrounging this island. I am looking for materials to make other materials. Now, I'm still pretty basic. I have some basic tools knife, axe, uh, and what I'm trying to do right now is I need to, I need to get some palm fawns. So we're going to cut down a palm tree. And now that the little indicator at the bottom there says I need to cool down. Well, you know, in this game it's a little hard to cool down. But if you get in the shade, or if you go in the water, uh, it helps out a little bit, you know? And I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to cut that up. So you can see from my skin, I've definitely got some kind of burn. Uh, first degree burn. You know, nothing too serious. Nothing that, you know, your all favorite freaking aloe plant here could fix. Now, so we're going to put these palm tree leaves under the still, because what it does is it in turn creates a uh, kind of a greenhouse effect. And much like the uh, you know the wood fire or the, the fireplace, you need to add fuel to it. So unfortunately, it sounds like this needs fuel. How long it's been like that? I remember playing back when it didn't need fuel. So All right, let's go ahead and drop some stuff. Okay. And let's continue our little journey. So I've got a burn, as you can tell from my forearm. It's a little red. Let's pick up some apple. All right. And I've magically gone back to a tan person. So, so it's a little bit of a, a sunny day out. It's definitely harsh, harsh sunlight. We don't have any sun protection. Uh, but we do have a fort. Or, excuse me, not a fort, but <laughs> a shelter in that matter can't really take shelter from it. The best thing you can do is basically, like I said, stay in the shady areas, maybe go for a swim. And what I'm doing right now is basically, like any other game, just resource collecting. That's what this game is all about. You're non-stop resource collecting. Always, always, always collect everything that you can. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too big. Collecting food. Collecting materials. These little babies come in handy because what you can do with them is you can 
called ladder or rope. I got an aloe plant. That's good. That's good. Make sure you collect these rocks. Tarps, always a good thing to have. Don't have enough room. Not a big deal. This is a shipwreck, but you know what? I like to keep things organized, you know? Keep things organized and clean it tends to make your life a little easier. Right. Compass. Definitely get another sunburn. Probably end up with a heat stroke here pretty quick. And even though I can run, you know, in all honesty, guys, it's never a good idea to run. Uh, especially if you're overheated, it's a sunny day out, you know, just, just go for a swim. Get the old fishing pole out, or the fishing stick. somebody you want to keep your eyes out for. Uh, sharks are kind of a menace in this game. Just like they always are. When you see sharks, always stay away. Pro tip of the day, guys. Always avoid the sharks. Well, we still got some kind of burn going. What I want to do, let's see. I definitely need to build a fire because if I don't have a fire, I won't be able to cook the material. Another great tip uh, is honestly learn the controls because otherwise you'll be stammering around like I am. It's ridiculous. There we go. Okay. So now I need to make a fire. Let's go ahead and just put that right there. It's got plenty of fuel. But the next thing I need to make. This lights the fire. Alright, so, good thing about the Tinder is it doesn't, unless they've patched it since I've last played this game, which has been a little bit, um, the Tinder doesn't run out. The fuel load inside of the, uh, Side of the fire does, which has always been the main thing. Alright, hold these skin. We're gonna skin these bad chickens because we can't eat them with the shells on. is with a refined knife, okay? And you can't do this from the start out, run-of-the-mill, sh uh, sharpened rock. You have to do it with the refined knife. It's the only way you can do it. So cut the oh, off. gross. And 
just like anything else in these games, guys, doing this stuff is a chore uh, in itself. But you know what? That, that adds to the, to the realism of the game, you know? This stuff doesn't come easy. This stuff doesn't just fall off the bone. You know, you literally have to put work in. So, you know, I, I like that. I like, the, I like the realism of it. You know, not everything's just handed to you. So. All right. A few stacks of meat here. Uh, in order to cook these things, you have to pick them up one at a time. You'll start hearing that cooking sound. And you'll have to leave these on the fire in order for them to cook. Now, as you can see, trying to put these things on here can be a little challenging sometimes. And then they'll just roll off the fire. Really gotta finesse these things a little bit. And you'll want to keep them there, and it, I know it seems like it's staying there for a long time. I mean, it should be done by now. Am I going to burn it? When they are done cooking, you will get a notification. It sounds basically like your microwave ding or a timer ding will go off. Okay, that's how you know that that is ready for, for consumption. You do not let it cook long enough. Um, you will end up having a problem. You'll end up getting sick because the meat is not cooked. Now it'll also say, obviously, cooked meat. So don't stand around and wait. You know, make sure you're you're still doing things because daylight is very valuable in this game. So, news, I'm just gonna continue to what I just. Why did I just do that? I did not want to. So as I said, guys, daylight is very valuable because you cannot see very well at night. And at night, on an island, you, know, you may run into a crab that pinches your toes. Not a huge issue. Um, but, you know, you want to try and keep as much of your health as possible. So, you heard that, okay? That little ding indicates that my food is ready. There's another one. Uh, that up. Okay. Pick up another piece of meat. Try to find the happy spot. So this is this is just your generic campfire. Okay, they have other methods of cooking. Uh, the best one, I, in my opinion, would probably be the smoker. Uh, that's actually a, an item that I'm really going to try and focus on trying to build here. Smoker, you have a, a wider surface area to put stuff on. You don't get this stuff where meat just falls off the fire. Hopefully that stays there. Right, so, food's up there a little bit. I can probably use some water. That's all going. So to move your, your stuff around, you use the right mouse button. Um, you don't press E. Uh, you hold the right mouse button and you just drag, basically, where you want the material to stack. Um, some of the stuff stacks nicely, some of it doesn't, some of it's a little bit of a pain. Uh, but, you know, that's what they do. So, as you can tell from the bottom of the palm, or uh, from the bottom of the still here, uh, we need palm leaves in order to keep this thing going. So, I don't want to run out of water. Water is a very, very valuable source here uh, in the game. So, you heard the ding, the food's done. We're going to cut this tree down real quick. Bunch of them. The second thing, that is my second piece of meat. There we go. Alright, let's pick up this Alright, so it's always a good idea to keep your still going. You need water. Alright, so. There we go. 
go. Okay. Okay, so, as I mentioned, well, actually, hold on, I don't know if I can burn this meat, but I don't want to find out. So, as I mentioned, you can build different things. Um, one thing that wasn't explained to me when I first started is uh, you can navigate different areas of your building simply by clicking on the words. Okay, so different different sections for different things. So we want to figure out what it's going to take to make the smoker. So the smoker, all I need is a fire pit. I need three wood sticks and a lashing. But in order to make a fire pit, I've got need three stones. It shouldn't be a huge issue. I have 20. Let's see. One, two, and three. So let's go ahead and make that fire ring. Bam! Put that around there. Cool. Smoker. I have a fire ring. I need three sticks and some lashes. Three sticks and I should have enough now to make the smoker, and like I said, uh, there's different levels of cooking. Um, definitely want to upgrade the cooking as, as, as much as possible, because having that meat just sit here and spoil, you know, it's, it's a waste of your efforts, it's a waste you know, of your time. That way you're just going to end up spending more time trying to find food. Uh, so you definitely, definitely want to upgrade your cooking as quickly as possible. Alright, so there's the smoker. And we can put the meats right in there. Alright, so that's the meat smoker. So let's get it to all this up. As you can see, it's putting the uh, the meats along the string here, which is really cool because it never used to do that. It, you honestly, it was just like a campfire. You had to pick stuff up, put it up on there. So it looks like they've patched that since. So that's awesome. So now I can cook five different meats at once. I don't have to sit there and let it just sit there on the ground. So while that's cooking, what's the number one rule? Oh, well, number one rule is mess with the shark. Second rule is always, always, always be collecting materials. Materials are a non-stop thing in this game. Always be committed. We can't cut that. Ah, there we go. There's some. In your tools, they wear out, so make sure you have plenty of materials to repair or rebuild. Right. Always, 
always want to get these bundles of little leaves, okay? Because these, I'm telling you guys, you can never make enough lashing. You can never have enough leaves. Uh, no fun in there. So, from the sound of the ding, I have cooked meat. Alright. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Small meat, cooked meat. No! Ah, I'm pressing the wrong button. Ah. Okay, what is that? I got some stuff mixed up in here, and it's not gonna lie, a little annoying. Let's try and pick these. How does look? Once they're all done, they're all done. All right, so I got another green here. That needs more. This is a little confused. Sorry, guys. I'm still... Okay, cook small meat. This isn't all cook small meat. We'll figure it out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... Not do that. Jeez. <laughs> and I'm just taking it. So, as you can see, this thing's a little glitchy, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Let's go ahead and just leave it be for now. Let's go ahead and extinguish the fire, because all we're doing is burning stuff up. Alright, so we've got our cooker, we've got food, we've got water. We have shelter. Alright, now we can start making other advancements. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What's a hook? What's the hook for? A sleeping bag. Alright, we can build our own house uh, if we've got the right materials. I'm definitely well on my way uh, to making my boat motor. All I need is a roll of duct tape. I think I have everything else. Uh, and if I don't have it here, I definitely have it on... Uh, I definitely have it on the island over there. Rule of thumb, guys, always leave your boat on the, or on the side of the island in which you approach from another island. So it, it's always a good point of reference as to where you came from. So I use the boat as a point of reference to say I came from that island right there, that point of direction. Okay, little little pro tip. All right. Excuse me. 
So it's nighttime. I'm definitely tired. Let's go ahead and take a nap. We don't want to get delirious. And we don't want our health going down because of that. Alright, so I definitely took a long, long nap. So go ahead and take a drink. Should be good. Alright. Okay. So. Always, always scatter. So what we're going to do... Do some more fishing. I need some more fishing. Alright. Yeah, see, there's the sharks, guys. The sharks! are definitely smaller than they used to be. They're not as, like, in your face um, as they used to be. I don't know if it's just because these are just the tiny ones and I'm not seeing the bigger ones. Uh, so, another thing to point out is that, uh, the sharks are not the only thing in the ocean that's gonna kill you. As you can see from this thing here, okay, it's, it's like a snake or something. And that shark is getting way too close for comfort. <coughs> Not against trying to kill one. Wow, okay. That didn't... That is not doing anything. Apparently these guys are not the ones I need to worry about. Which is odd. Good on the game developers for adding more depth to the ocean. More more animals, more exotic fish, because it used to be pretty plain, like literally there was just no fish, I mean, it was just non-stop little tiny sardines, there might have been a little school over there, but they definitely filled it in a lot more, uh, which is nice, you know, it gives you that tropical island feel. Always make sure you have a well-established food system, always make sure you have a well-established water system because two main things in this game that will kill you faster than anything is water, or lack of water, and a lack of food. And always make sure you carry both with you when you decide to go places because when you go to these different islands, you're not going to have an established water system or food system right away. You, know, you can eat a coconut or two. Uh, but as I mentioned before, don't eat too many of the coconuts, because the coconuts, those are a laxative. And if you're not, if you drink too much coconut juice in this game, you're going to have some bathroom problems. And if you're dehydrated, you're in a bad situation, because now you're throwing up, or now you're puking, or not puking, but now you're basically crapping your pants, and you're already dehydrated, which is now affecting you even worse. So pay attention to that stuff. Some of that already looks cooked. Wow. Right. Cooked. 
I've kind of got this thing figured out. Alright. Just takes a little finesse, like anything else in these, in these games. It takes a little bit of patience. If you don't have patience, man, you're gonna, you're gonna lose out real quick. Let's get some more palm leaves going. So, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but if you, in order to get this thing working, you have to start swinging before you look at it, because otherwise you're going to pick it up. There we go. Alright. So, these will be good for refueling. that a shot, shall we? Now, I know... I do know that uh, there is like a milling station or something that you can use to log woods. Planking station. So I need a... I need lashing, wood log, sticks, crude hammer, and a refined axe. Those. Find axe and need leather. Hmm. Alright, so we're nowhere even close. Okay, so we're nowhere even close to really having any of that stuff yet. Okay, so we've got all that. Put this on there. Oh, those are cooked. Pick those up. We're gonna figure this out together, guys. Alright, so those look like those are done. Okay, so that's the last of the meat. We have water going, water's full, meat's full. Alright, so that's good. What I need to work on is the can. I need another flask. Alright, so I need some lashing. I need a water skin. We'll, we'll go with a coconut flask. So I need a coconut, I need some lashing. Alright, should have. Twenty three four. Got that. So I guess I don't have that right. Pick that up. Bam, there we go. Alright. Put that down. Hold E to collect. Awesome. So 
that should have at least one water. Needs we still got some small. Sounds like it's all done. <laughs> all right, all right, let's fix this. No, not a damage. Come on. There we go. All right, let's turn it. Don't. What did I just do? No kidding. So apparently, you can attach meat to the fire. I didn't know that. It used to be back in the day, you had to pick them up and drag them. So that's really cool, to be honest with you. There's a lot of new things. Okay. Alright guys, well, you know, that's a good first start. You got to see some of the basics of how to get your first uh, survival location set up. You know, you gotta have food, you gotta have water. And you definitely have to have shelter. So I'm going to leave it off here, guys. I'm going to make another video here shortly. Uh, and we'll continue on and see if we can't figure out some more of the advanced stuff. Maybe go out to another island. Check and see if there's some other stuff. So with the moon rising, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a good night, guys. Take care.